In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for PbNO3 2 plus MgSO4, lead to nitrate plus magnesium sulfate. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. In this case, this molecular equation here is already balanced, so that's nice. Now we can write the state for each substance. So lead to nitrate, nitrates are very soluble. We're going to write AQ here. So sulfates in general are soluble, but let's look this up on a solubility table. So we find magnesium right here, and way over here we have sulfate. So magnesium sulfate, that's soluble. But let's look at lead sulfate where we're here. Lead 2, we go over, and the sulfate, we see that it's insoluble. So for the lead sulfate, that's one of the few sulfates that's not soluble. But the magnesium sulfate, that'll be soluble. So we said our magnesium sulfate, that is going to be aqueous. It's soluble. It'll dissolve. But the lead sulfate, that's not going to dissolve. It's going to be a solid. In fact, when these react, it'll be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. And we said nitrates are very soluble. So we'll put a little AQ there. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That gives us the complete ionic equation. So we don't know the charge on lead, but we do know the whole nitrate here is 1 minus. Since we have two of them, lead's going to have to be 2 plus. So we have the Pb 2 plus ion. All right, aqueous at the end. Let's not do that right now. Plus the nitrate ion, NO3 minus, and we have two of them. So we got to put a coefficient of 2. Magnesium group 2 on the periodic table is 2 plus. The whole sulfate, always 2 minus. Good one to remember. So we have the magnesium ion, Mg two plus, and then we have the sulfate ion, that SO4, two minus. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the product, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equation. So we're just going to call this PbSO4. It's going to stay together. And then we said magnesium, two plus, nitrate, one minus. So we have the magnesium ion, and we'll have two nitrate ions. So these are our products. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So let's see what we have. Here's our reactants and our products. I have two nitrate ions right here. It's the same as this over here. I can cross those out. I have two magnesium ions. I have it in the reactants and the products, so cross that out. But what's left, that's the net ionic equation for PbNO3 2 plus MgSO4. Let me clean this up and add the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for lead to nitrate plus magnesium sulfate. You'll notice that charge is conserved. We have a 2 plus and a 2 minus. That gives us a net charge of 0. Same over here, net charge of 0. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.